Hi everybody, thank you for joining us for another Life Lifter. This week we are focusing on the topic of heaven. Isn't that a great thought? Like that old song, heaven is a wonderful place filled with glory and grace. I want to see my father's face because heaven is a wonderful place. I could think it goes something like that. Anyway, you're, if I haven't lost some of you, thank you for sticking around past that. But last time yesterday we talked about the first aspect of heaven and that's this that when you are heavenly minded you're the most earthly good today i want to talk to you about the eternal tension this life is filled with tensions isn't it the tension of whether to do this or that the tension of whether to take a risk or play it safe the te- there's so many different tensions can i talk about a tension that if you really think about it is a critical tension it's this Do I want to be in heaven or do I want to live on earth? Well, think about it. You want to live in heaven, right? Who doesn't want to be with Jesus Christ? Well, I guess a lot of people, but if you're a Christian, you want to be with Jesus, you want to be in heaven, you want to be in perfect bliss, you want everything to be without sin. It's it's the panacea, It's, it's, it's paradise, it's excellence, it's perfection, it's glory, it's splendor. But how many, how many want to not live on earth you know it's like we all want to go to heaven we just don't want to go right now right so there's the tension because you want to live on earth and the right tension for wanting to live on earth is you want to live a more godly life you want to be a better husband or wife or, or, or brother or sister to people around you and you want to tell as many people about jesus christ so they go to heaven so there's this tension the tension of do i want to go to heaven or do i want to stay on earth and it's a real tension because on earth we have work to do in heaven It's perfect bliss, but there's no more work to do. And the Apostle Paul wrestled with that, what I call the eternal tension, heaven and earth. Look at what he says in Philippians chapter 1, verses 20 to 24. He says this, verse 20, I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but have sufficient courage, so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death, whether by life or here on earth, or by death, which is the entrance into heaven. Verse 21, for to me, and here's the summary of the tension, for to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. To live is Christ. In other words, if I'm alive on earth, I'm going to live for Christ, and if I die, it's all the better. That's my gain. But I'm going to let God, what he's saying in between the lines, to live is Christ, to die is gain, I'm going to let Christ determine when I stop living on earth and that tension is over and I'm in eternity. And he goes on and he says this, if I am to go on living in the body that is living on earth, this will mean fruitful labor, labor for me. In other words, if I'm here on earth, I'm just going to keep doing God's work and I'm going to have good fruit. Good things are going to come out of my life because I'm going to do God's bidding, God's work. Yet, what shall I choose? I do not know. He knew, he, and he wasn't like he was going to commit suicide. What he was going to do was just let himself be executed and not fight it and go to court like he did in Rome at the end of the book of Acts. Then verse 23, I am torn between the two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is better by far. Of course it is. But it is more necessary for you that I remain in this body. And there's Paul's tension. So how do you resolve the eternal tension of wanting to be in heaven but wanting to be on earth, it's this. Let God decide when you get to heaven, and while you're on earth, serve him faithfully. Tell other people about him. Live for him. Strive to be a more godly person. Do God's bidding. Do what God wants you to do for our world. And then when you get to heaven, you'll have peace about it. We'll all have regrets and go, I wish I did this, I wish I did that. But the more you live your life fruitfully here on earth, the tension will be diminished because you'll have less regret in heaven. To live as Christ, to die as gain. There's the eternal tension. Have you resolved the tension in your own life between heaven and earth? Heaven will wait. God has a perfect time for that. It'll be eternal bliss. In the meantime, bring heaven to earth to as many people as you can. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this eternal tension. It's like the tension of the rapture. You can come back today and we want to be ready, but you may not come back in our lifetime. We have to prepare as if you won't come back in our lifetime. Same with heaven. We don't know when we're going to be there, but when we get there, we want to get as much of our earthly work done as possible. To live as Christ, to die as gain. Help us to manage the tension between heaven and earth.
and surrender to your will in both. We ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Never forget to live today on earth is Christ for Christ and to die, it's only game. Thanks, have a great day.